it's time to solve some more hacker rank problems and again it's time to do some more experiments i am back with one more experiment so for the upcoming few videos what i'm going to try is i'm going to have interactive mode and lab mode in interactive mode i'll be talking to you and in the lab mode we'll be focusing purely on coding i'll turn off the video i'll focus completely on the screen just an experiment just like yeah like you know i keep on doing experiments just to make the videos more and more effective more and more interactive uh, more and more amazing so let's see how it goes i hope you are all set and all excited to solve more hacker and problems with me so without wasting any further time let's get started so the next problem which we are trying to solve is the swap case problem in this so we can read the statement you are given a string and your task is to swap cases in other words convert all lower case letters to upper case letters and vice versa so the idea is very simple wherever you see an upper case letter you have to convert it into a lower case letter and wherever you see a lower case letter you have to convert it into an upper case letter we we basically have to complete this function which is given to us that is swap case and uh, the only parameter is the string that is the input string and we have to also return a string with all the like with the cases of all the letters reversed and we can see the sample input as well as the sample output also so cool so i think the problem is pretty straightforward pretty simple uh, before i jump into the solution to this problem i would like to talk about two basic concepts so here we go the first one is okay let me first uh, launch my python interpreter yeah okay so the first thing which i would like to talk about is that we can use list comprehensions in python to generate uh, new lists so here is like for example what i can do is i for i in range let's say 1 0 that is 10 now if i look at data so data is nothing but 0 to 9 right and uh, okay so this is one more thing which is important to be discussed here that uh, this data is numeric now there is one method of uh, uh, lists which i would like to discuss so given an empty string what i can do is i can join a list of let's say characters or strings so for example this is a list of characters i can join it to an empty string using the join method now these two concepts i really want you to keep in your mind as we solve the problem of swap case okay uh, actually given that it's a good opportunity what I can show you is so I can show you some functions also for example a dot it's actually already lower so let me call upper it becomes a similarly if I say b dot lower it becomes b right and exactly like uh, that I can do is lower it gives me a 2 so these are the built-in functions which are available and all these concepts we are going to use in order to solve the problem of swap case right awesome so here we go now return now look at the concepts which i'm using here so i'm using join on an empty string which means i need to pass a list of characters or strings that is the only thing which will work so i'm saying c for uh, okay, so C, let's say C dot upper, if C dot is lower, else C dot lower for C in S. Now try to read this comprehension, what exactly is this comprehension trying to say here? That convert C to upper, if C is lower, else C dot lower, else convert it to lower for every character in the given string s and then later on we are joining that string with an empty uh, joining that list with an empty string to return the result now let me go ahead and try to run the code cool so we have passed all the test cases with just a single line of code now let me try to submit the code for this okay seems like yes so we have passed all the test cases so as you can see that just by using some python concepts we have eliminated a lot of like code we we don't uh, we 
really didn't have the need to apply any kind of let's say if else conditions or any for loops uh, we just use some basic concepts we used some built in functions of python we used list comprehensions and we used the join method of strings so uh, i think that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed uh, learning about uh, like these concepts and solving this hacker and problem i'll see you in the next one till then take care and bye bye